Hi, welcome back to Food Travel Shopping Channel and you're watching Restaurant Remake. If you have not yet subscribed to our Food Travel Shopping Channel, hit the subscribe button right now or hit the bell notification for our latest video and update. Today at Restaurant Remake, I am going to show you how to make a Wagyu beef meatball for an appetizer. Let's get started. Okay, first we're going to remove our ground Wagyu beef from our package. Alright, I'm just going to use my hand to break down the ground beef a little bit, the Wagyu ground beef. Alright, so first we're going to add in our sweet onions. Alright, so I'm just going to use my hand to just work this in, incorporate into the Wagyu ground beef here. So I'm incorporating the fresh parsley, which I chop finely here. Okay. Add in our garlic powder. <clears throat> Add in our red chili flakes. Nutmeg. And some dry thyme. Alright, feel free to use two hand here. All right, we're gonna season this with half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we want to incorporate as much black pepper as possible. All right, we're gonna incorporate our breadcrumbs in here and follow by our egg yolk. All right, I'm gonna also add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I love this brand of olive oil. It's directly imported from Italy. All right, so we're gonna mix everything together here. Give it a couple of uh, slap in the bowl, okay? Bring it up, smack it into the bowl. All right, so now we can prepare our meatball. All right, so I am going to take some meat and I actually want exactly two ounce my meatball to be. So this is gonna be a two ounce meatball. Just gonna use my hand to roll this into a ball and we're gonna place it in a glass tray. Okay, so for accurate measurements, I like to use a scale to do my meatball. So then I will get some precise measurement here. So I want exactly two ounce meatball for each meatball. And we want to just use our hand to roll it into a round shape. So I don't know if your family like this okay. or it's just my family, but um, we like to argue over which piece is bigger and which piece is who, who's getting more, who's getting less. But if you use a scale, to do your meatball, then there's no argument because each meatball is exactly the same. So Anab, I was able to make 19 of the two ounce of Wagyu beef meatball and leaving the last one, the, 20, the 20th meatball to be just 1.2 ounce. So I guess this would be my taste tester. So that's fine. So I have 19 two ounce of Wagyu beef meatball. So now we're gonna go ahead and sear in our brazier first. All right, you wanna use two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil to sear the meatball first. So I actually seared my meatball already and, um, and I forgot to film this part, so I do apologize. But you just need to sear each meatball so then you have nice golden brown and that will hold the shape of the meat meatball and that's primarily what we wanted to do in our brazier here all right once you remove remove all the meatball if there's a lot of oil you want to remove the oil the excess oil and with the remaining oil on the in the pan we're gonna put in our minced garlic right into the pan directly all right so in a low medium heat we're gonna saute our garlic here. 
And I'm gonna add 10 ounce of the tomato, crushed tomato that I have here in a can. And I also like to use the Victoria marinara sauce to mix in with my sauce. So I'm gonna add that in. All right, we're gonna let this simmer back up. All right, so in addition, I like to add some aromatic, so which is my herbs. So I have some fresh thyme that I wanna add in directly to my sauce. And some Italian parsley as well. I like to add some black pepper. And I'm gonna give this a stir. All right, so this is where we're gonna put our meatball back in. Put the meatball all around first. All right, so carefully put it back in because the meatball is still soft on the inside. And the small one right in the middle. It's gonna season with some more black pepper. And we're gonna cover it and lower the heat to a medium heat. And we're gonna braise it for 30 minutes. All right, so after 30 minutes of slow cooking the meatball, we're gonna remove from the heat and we're gonna serve. And I'll show you how the meatball looks like. All right, let's open it and see how it looks like. Ooh. All right, so I am going to now serve the Wagyu beef meatball on my stove round dish. I'm gonna take out my meatball first. All right, so I have six of these meatball, yummy, yummy meatball, and I'm gonna put some sauce on top. I'm gonna make sure we're gonna cover the entire dish with sauce. All right, we're not gonna overdo it. We're just gonna cover until we don't see any black surface. All right, and then now we're gonna top it off with our basil. And this is my version of the Wagyu beef meatball. All right, now it's time for our taste test. Ooh, let's cut into our meatball. Look at that meatball. Let's see hey, if it's nice and juicy and moist in there. All right, let's see if it's moist and juicy inside. Let's take a bite. Mmm, definitely moist and tender. And it's very soft. The seasoning is just right. And definitely very different than um, your regular ground beef. The Wagyu beef is a little bit different. And it definitely tastes a lot better. Mmm. I'm really happy with the dish. This dish is great for serving as like an appetizer, which I have presented here. Or you can put some spaghetti with pasta, so serve it as like you know, Wagyu beef meatball with pasta. Or you can have it as lunch, you know, put it in a sub and that would be your meatball sub sandwich, right? So that might be the idea that I will go with for my lunch tomorrow with the leftovers. So I hope you enjoyed this great video of my restaurant remake on the Wagyu beef meatball. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that like button below. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to our food travel shopping channel, hit that subscribe button for me and hit the bell notification for our latest video and update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Restaurant Remake. Thanks for watching.